Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and I have bought an electric boat from China. In fact, it is this boat, or not exactly this one, but one that looks very much like this. I bought it on Alibaba. I've already paid uh, a third of the payment as the down payment. They've finished building my boat and now I'm gonna do a video call with the factory to meet the uh, factory rep and also see my boat. So I've been communicating with Frank Zhu or Zhao, I should probably figure out how to pronounce that. Um, from the factory. His English, he said, isn't great, so he's gonna have his uh, colleague there to actually talk to me on the video call, but Frank will also be there to demonstrate the different boats for me. I'm excited to see my boat finally in person, or as close to person as you can get from halfway around the world, and uh, check out what they've built for me. So let's uh, call Frank up and, and see the boat. It's 11 in the morning in China right now, uh, 6 in the morning here. It is super hot in China. They've been having some serious heat waves. So we agreed to do the call pretty early so that they can all go home in the heat of the afternoon. All right, Frank is ready. Let's video call. Hello. Hi, Frank. Uh, this is Joy. Joy. Frank. Frank. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay, we, we will show you the boat. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, uh, we can... We can see the, the boat like this. Oh, looks wonderful. Five seaters. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to fill it up with friends. Are those the batteries there? Yeah, yeah, this is the battery. Okay, interesting. For, for, test, for testing. Yeah. Ah, for testing, got it, okay. Yeah, I show you from the back to the front. Oh man, this is exciting, it looks great. <laughs> Thank you. So it's it's got a very flat bottom, right? I've, I'm trying to figure out what trailer I'll need. Uh, I show you the bottom. The bottom, uh, it is uh, it is flat. I think it is flat. Uh, I show you from the back. Uh, it looks like a twin V hole almost. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. The bottom is uh, not a not. It is flat bottom. Flat bottom, okay. So like a flat trailer would be good. Yeah, 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 flat trailer is okay. Perfect. Can I see the controls, like the steering and the throttle? Okay, I will show you. Uh, it's a steering wheel here and a controller. Okay. Uh, and uh, this is for, for, for charging, for charging, charging part. Ah, okay, interesting. So I have that plug that I can plug in to charge it? Yeah, here, here has a meter, the, 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 the battery, 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 for the battery meter. Right. It's for start. Start, all start. Okay, perfect. Yeah, looks, looks good. Uh, and, uh, and we have a we have a maintenance maintenance. This this cover is for maintenance for maintenance. Ah, maintenance. Uh, okay. If some emergency, uh, we can open it and repair or check the bottom of the boat. Right. Okay. Looks great. Uh, five seaters, uh, two 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 fronts and three backs. Uh, sorry. Oh, wait a minute, it is noisy here. <laughs> there is a... Hey, Zuzo, don't I get out of here? Can you get out of here? Uh, friend, uh, would you like to see the... see the... Uh, see the testing? Yes, that would be great. Do you need us to test the motor? Yes. Okay, okay, we will we, we'll connect the battery. Okay. Wait a minute, Frank will do that. Okay. I'm in good hands with Frank, I'm excited. <laughs> there is a controller, controller in the inside of the boat and here has a motor. Okay, uh, how much power yeah. is the motor? Uh, it is well, uh, it's uh, five hundred, five hundred, five hundred. Five hundred. Okay. 
And in the future, if I want to put a more powerful motor in there, can I do that? Uh, if you if you need more, if you want uh, big motors, you, you need add more batteries. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, the battery is heavier. Uh, I'm suggest uh, I suggest you use a five hundred. Okay, but in the yeah. in the future, maybe in one year, if I add bigger batteries, can I put a bigger motor in the future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put a bigger, maybe. Eight hundred, maybe, maybe one thousand, one one thousand, one one thousand. Right. Okay. Yeah, we will show you how to how to operate. No, the light is for the battery. Okay. I will. Uh, uh, here we are. Uh, this is from. I will show you. I will show. You. I will show you. Okay, start. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Okay, I will show you the motor. The motor inside. Looks great. It is easy. It is easy to operate. Definitely. So when I add batteries, is there a way to secure them so they don't move around? Yeah, uh, the battery. Battery we can put inside. Uh, if you, uh, you you want more, do you want to put more batteries? Uh, well, I'll I'll put my own batteries. But is there a way to secure them to so they don't move inside? Yeah. Maybe maybe you can put some uh, small box inside the wood box inside, so the the, the battery can can fix to the. Uh, oh. we, we can make it. We we can make one for you. Uh, you can give me the size, the measurements of the battery. We we can make a box and fix fix to the bottom that of the wood. Uh, perfect. Yeah, that'll that'll save me from having to make something. Yeah, yeah. Maybe later you can get a get the specification of the battery. Okay. Uh, also, I wanted to add solar panels onto the canopy on top. Is it pretty strong? Can it support solar panels? Uh, oh, uh, we 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 support the support the roof by by the post. Uh, if you put the solar panel, you. You can put some. Uh, it, it is okay to put the solar panel, but but not too heavy. How many kilograms? Uh, uh, I don't, don't know the how many kilos exactly, but but uh, but uh, maybe. 50, maybe 50 kilos. <laughs> five zero? 50 yeah, five zero. Yeah. Okay. Zero. Uh, yeah, you can put, uh, put uh, around 500 watts, 500 watts in the solar panel. Perfect. At this point, I asked Joey and Frank to give me a tour of the factory and the other boats they had there, which led to some interesting finds, like this human-powered hamster wheel boat that Frank demonstrated for me, which uses a giant paddle for propulsion. Uh, oh, wow. People stand there. Uh, we go, go around, go around. That is amazing. There were some other cute little pedal boats as well and some slightly more conventional pedal bicycle boat things, and even a giant pedal tricycle thing. One of the boats though that I'm kind of jealous of is what looks like an eight-seater version of my boat, and now I kind of want to grab this one too, but I should probably start with just mine and go slow here. As is typical in China, there were plenty of animal-themed options as well, like this duck boat, and a swan boat, and a dolphin boat, and there was even a traditional Chinese-styled boat too, all electric. 
Then they took me to another part of their factory that has larger aluminum boats, though most of these are gas powered. There were some smaller open type boats, and then even this bigger thing they described as a police boat complete with a cabin that actually looks quite nice. Some of these are really good looking, though probably outside of my price range. Though if my boat only cost a thousand bucks, I have to imagine that these are still going to be decently priced compared to what you'd pay in the US. It's been great to meet you guys. Thank you so much for showing me the factory and the boats. Okay, my pleasure. <laughs> Call me at any time. Okay. Well, do you guys have a great day? Stay cool. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. So there we go. I saw my boat. I saw a pile of other boats. Now that I saw all those other boats, there are a bunch of other ones I want. That one with the gerbil wheel is hilarious, but also that eight person boat, that one looks really nice. So I don't know, I, I might have to go back after this one and get a few more. Obviously I wanted to start with a smaller one, get a sense of you know the quality of this factory, but I think this is gonna be great. I mean, it looks like an awesome boat, five seater, it's got a you know decent motor in there, it's 500 watts, but that's the continuous rating. You saw that was a very chunky motor, right? Like, I mean, that was, you know, five, six times the size of what we call a 500 watt motor on an electric bicycle. So I'm excited to see what this thing can do. And um, like I told Frank and his colleague Joy, that I'm, uh, I'm going to be planning to put some solar panels on the canopy of the boat. And I think I can get about 500 watts of solar panels up there. So if the boat is pulling 500 watts, I can put 500 watts of panels, I can get almost infinite range from this thing when the sun is shining. So that should be pretty cool too. The next step is to get the boat to the US. I'm sending it to Florida where my parents are. Uh, well, actually, I guess the next step is to pay the last two thirds of the payment. I already did the down payment, which was about one third. Uh, the boat itself was, I think, a thousand or a thousand and eighty dollars. That's for the entire boat, but no batteries. So I'm gonna have to add my own batteries. It takes uh, 24 volt batteries. So I'll do that stateside. But then shipping was much more expensive. Shipping was about $2,000 or so. So I'm in it for about $3,000 at this point. And then I'm gonna to have to add somewhere around uh, probably between $700 to $1,400 of batteries. Depends if I wanna go with 100 amp hour or 200 amp hour, I'll have to see. But uh, I think I could do all of this for under 4,000 or so, um, depending on what the customs and the import charges are and if there are any tariffs that I'm not expecting. Very exciting for me. I hope you guys are excited to follow along on this journey. I know that after importing my electric truck, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable ordering these types of things from China and I'm excited to see what I can get for, uh, you know, what is ostensibly a very cheap amount of money for a pretty cool looking electric boat. So I will update you guys as I know more and once I get the boat into the US, I'll be excited to take you guys along on the maiden voyage. So thanks for watching today, everyone. Uh, last but not least, before we go, it is time to announce the winner of the giveaway for my last video. And the randomly selected commenter who will win a free copy of one of my books is... Agome Romero. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose from DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or my latest book, The Electric Bike Manifesto. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you have to do is put a comment down below. You can say anything you'd like, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. If you don't want to wait that long, you can always find my books on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you here next time. <laughs>